let's talk about drawing in an isometric way. Let's draw a oh let's draw a box that's four tall, three deep and two wide. Okay. Four units. So what you're going to do is think of each of these as a unit. So I just told you that I want it to be how many four tall? So one, two, three, four. Isometric drawings have the edge going to the front here. So that's one, two, three, four. You guys see that, right? Now, and I said I wanted it to be 3D. So one, two, three. And how wide did I want it to be? I said two. Have I not drawn the three dimensions of that right there? You want to do this right now? Either one. Now, looking at this picture, you guys are probably confused at how am I drawing it like what? Well, I need to show that when I get to here, I kind of, a, a different face and edge happens, correct? See, if you look at this dot paper, isometric dot paper, there's the dots make a line right there, right? They make a line that way, right? And they make a line what? This way. See they're kind of offset? All of these edges that are parallel or just like this on the box need to be drawn along the same set of lines. So I don't need to draw this one three deep like this, do I? Connect those three. Look, one, two, three. That wouldn't look right, would it? So three spaces, I need to draw along the same line of dots, which would be what? Three spaces. One, two, three. See that? Now, if I was to finish this edge here and this edge over here, what makes sense? Isn't this edge parallel to this one? So it needs to be along the same line of dots. And how big? Two. Now look what's happened. Have I basically created the top of this? That's the top of the figure. I need to make the other edges, don't I? Well, these edges, look up here. This, this is what, four high? I need to use the, a parallel line of dots, same type of line, which would be this one right here, wouldn't it? If I made it along this one, that wouldn't be right, would it? See how that makes sense? One, two, three, four. What about right here? One, two, three, four. Now, don't these edges look correct now? What about the bottom of the box? Isn't it the same type of edge as this one? So wouldn't it need to be along the same line, type of line? What about this edge right here? Now, there are more edges, aren't they? Aren't there? Which, which are they? The ones what? They're behind the box. What do we use when we draw those? We use what? Dotted. Dotted. One, two, three, four. I need to use a dotted here as well. Isometric three-dimensional drawing. It's isometric because the edge is facing to you, not a face. It's not too bad, is it? You see how to draw these now? How you uh, parallel faces go on an edge? Now you don't have to always make them line up like that. I could do a triangle or a pyramid like they do in the book. I want to make that the top. When I 
I probably need to connect the dots here, don't I? Everybody see that? Now, if I wanted to make this kind of uh, this prism or this triangular prism three high, now I'm going to make the height. See, I made the base, right? One, two, three. From each edge, I go what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Now look at that. It's already made the, uh, all I have to do is connect the dots now. Would you guys agree? Look at that. It's going to line up nice and perfect for this back one. That's why this dot paper is really nice to draw that, those type of figures. Any questions there? Are you okay? Now, here's the part that people tend to have problems with. Is the stuff on page 840. It's realizing making those two things become this. And I will switch to the computer so you guys can see. Are these, when they draw you a view, okay? For instance, when they say top view, look at this figure down here. They mean looking down like this, don't they? Do you see how it would look like this from the top view? Looking straight down? Okay. Left view would be looking right over here. That's left. Top. This right here is what they consider the <coughs> front view, right? And this view right here is what they consider the right view. Now, do you see anything significant about this picture here that relates down to here? you see anything that looks different? Do you notice this light here? What do you think about that? They made this darker right here, and they also made that darker right here. Why do you think they did that? To tell you that from here to here is a different height or a different a different number of blocks and if you look when you walk from here down to here it is a different height isn't it yep. or if you walk from here down to here which is what the right view does that's a different height correct so you see how this became this right So when you're doing this problem, you basically would have said, okay, looks like from this view, the one on the left is the taller, right? Doesn't it? Okay, so I'm looking at the top view. So I know this one's going to be what? What does that tell me? One, two. That one's going to be three tall. That one's going to be three blocks tall, right? Because look at this. Because isn't that the left view? So that'd be good. But then when I look, I've got to figure out how tall is this going to be? Well, if I look at the front view, how tall is it? 
aren't both of these one block? By because of that view right here, would you agree? And then this shows that they're the same height right there. So that's how you get that. Now, let's talk about this one right here. Trying to get to where we can draw over here and still have the picture here. Okay. Now. If you look at this one, let's do this one here together. So I've got the top view. Right now, looking at the top, I know that it's going to be an L, basically, isn't it? Or maybe an upside, not an L, but an upside down L. Flipped over, or however you want to say it. Now, the left view, though, shows right here that it's going to be solid as can be. So from behind right here, it's going to be 3 by 3. So that's a view I can start with if I want. Or I can start with the front view. Look at the front view. The front view looks like it's going to be what? three tall right here and then what? Just two tall for these two. So if I want to come over here and I start with the front view let's say, I know that it's going to be three blocks tall. So there's one block. See how I... Everybody see? Now everybody stop writing pencils down. I want you to watch me do this. Okay. From, we're, we're referring to the front view right now. We're just talking about just that front view. So I'm going to get everything else out of there. These people have been having problems with these, so I'm doing the best I can to try to front view. So I'm starting on the left. How many do I need to go down? How many do I need? I need a block right here, don't I? Everyone agree? And then I need another block right here. What have I basically made? I've made that one, that one, and that one, haven't I? Would everyone agree? You see, I'm just I'm drawing in two dimensions here, and I'm showing it here in two dimensions. Agreed? So what other ones do I need? I need this one right here. Right? Where would that one be? Right, right there. And then I need this one right here, right? And that would be what? Right there? Does everyone agree? Now, this does, still doesn't look like this one. I'm missing what? These two right here, right? So I need to draw them. So now if I'm just, just completely making sure that the front view, does the front view look exactly like this front view? Do they look the same? Okay, very good. Now I need to go to a different view. We can go to the right view. We can go to the top. And see, sometimes when you're doing it like I'm doing it, you may do it incorrectly. It's important that we realize that. How did I, if I, when I look at the top view, what's wrong here? The top view, this has got to be the top, right? It says that it's going to look like this. Would you guys agree? And then there's going to be a step down. It's going to be too tall, right? So, like that, right? Would the, would the top view look right then? Yeah. But here's the thing. When you look at the top view, there's supposed to be anything in here. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't have these here, should I? And you'll find yourself doing this a lot when you're doing problems like this. Okay, this is where my that view needed to come from, wasn't it? You guys see?
So now does the top view look how it should? The front view looks how it should. You get two of them down, you're usually pretty good to go. Now, if we did it like that, let's look at this view. The right view. I'm looking right over here. Does that look right? Yes. You've got a step in height right there. Agreed? Just like you have over here. And that's the top, isn't it? Everyone agree? Okay. It's weird, I know. Now, let's look at number three. Number three in the book, they did make a mistake. Right here. That should be bold. So get your book out and color that in boldly. 841. I suppose you guys are supposed to be on page 839. Right here. Top view should have a... Because look at the front view. Doesn't it front view show that there should be a difference in height right here? So there should be a difference in height what? Right there. So color that in darkly. We're looking at number three like this. I can color it in for you. That right there should be dark. You guys see it? Your assignment. Numbers 3 through 14 to do on that second sheet of paper. Now, guys, when you write the figure, you're not going to use the dots because you can't because these are straight, aren't they? Just draw over the dots and, you know, if you were writing the figure for uh, number three, for instance, I'm doing number three right now. I label number three. I Coach Stump says I have to draw the figures. All I care of you doing is drawing each of you. Label what? Top. Then I do want you to draw the other view. But you see how I'm they're not going to line up with the, uh, I'm not doing a very good job of drawing. See how they're not going to line up with the dots? That's how you write the problem. Then you use the dots to make what? The three-dimensional drawing, which is the reason you have the dot paper. So I want all of it done on this dot paper. Any questions? Now, here's the thing, guys. 